So you may have just picked up your Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 FE, and you might be trying to figure out exactly how to use it. Now, luckily for you, this is a really good tablet. It has a lot of stuff going on for it, and I'll show you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use it. Now, number one, when you, as soon as you buy it, I would recommend putting some sort of screen protector on it in some sort of case. It's probably better off to do something like that because if you don't do that, you might run into a problem where you drop it or something like that. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now on the front, you're getting a very good display. It's very nice, it's very big, it's very beautiful. And I do think this is a pretty decent panel for what you're getting. It's a very decent refresh rate, looks great. You have a little bit of bezel around it. And the top, the way Samsung wants you to use it is to have the front facing camera kind of landscape. So if you take a look at the camera, it should be centered right kind of if you're holding your tablet like this. So if you're holding your tablet like this, you should be able to see it this way. Now, you do have your speaker grill on the side. So you have a speaker grill right here as well as some microphones. On the bottom, you have an accessory port right here, which allows you to plug in some you know, keyboards and stuff like that. On the bottom bottom, you do have your USB Type-C port, which is really awesome. You can go through and plug in a USB Type-C accessory hard drive, maybe your charger you can plug in right here too. Then if you go ahead and take a look on the top side, you have your power button, which has a fingerprint sensor built in right there, your volume up and down button, your microphones. And on the back side, you basically just have your camera sensor, which is right up here. And you also have a Samsung logo. This tablet is built really well. It's built completely out of this aluminum or whatever it is. And it feels very, very good in the hand. Now, when you go and turn on your Samsung tablet for the very first time, it's gonna go and walk you through the setup process. Now, after setting it up, you have a couple of different ways of powering on your tablet. You can either double tap on the display like this to turn it on or turn it off, or you can click on the power button. As soon as you go ahead and turn it on though, you'll come right into its lock screen. So it's a lock screen, it's gonna look pretty good. It's gonna look you know, like any other lock screen. You have your time, your date, your quick icons at the bottom. If you want to, you can always hold down on the lock screen like this, and you can go through and actually start editing up your lock screen. So if you hold it down, you can start editing up how your lock screen looks. So you can go ahead and kind of change out your font at the very top. You can change out some wallpapers. You can add some more quick icons to the top. Like you have a lot of, you know, customizability that you have right here, which is actually very cool. So you can go through and kind of customize this whichever way you want to. So I'd recommend going through and actually having fun with it, because this is one of the nicest things about owning some of these newer tablets, is that you can go through and kind of customize it whichever way you want to. Now, if you want to go ahead and basically come back home, you can go through and you can just swipe up from your lock screen. If you set up a passcode, you can go and type in the passcode, and then you'll come right into the home screen. So this is where you're going to always land at. If you look at the bottom right corner, there is these three buttons. You have a navigate, this is your navigation bar. So if you click this middle O button, it will always take you home. So no matter where you are, if you tap on the O button, it will just automatically take you right back home. If you click on the back button, it will take you to the previous page that, we're, you, that you were just in. And if you click on the three lines right here, it'll show you all the recent applications that you recently just used. So you do have a little bit of you know, capability there when it kind of comes down to it as well. So that is kind of another one of those nice things that you have. Now, with your home screen, you have multiple different pages you can kind of swipe between. So you can go through and you can swipe between one page to the other, so you do have that type of capability. You have your app icons, your widgets, and some other you know, widgets that you might have in your dock. That's kind of what your home screen is kind of comprised of. You can move around whatever type of widget you want to by holding it down and moving it around. And you can also delete apps and delete widgets if you don't like them by holding them down like this and then clicking on the Remove button. Just like the lock screen though, you can also hold down on any part of the home screen and you can customize this home screen like crazy as well. You can change your wallpaper and style, you can add widgets, and you can jump straight into settings by holding down on your lock screen. So that is a nice thing. And if you want to delete a page entirely, you can also just go through and you can you know click on the delete button right up there or, or right up there. And you can also swipe through and add another page and you can also add another page if you really want to. So, and if you're ready, you can just jump back in. Now, if you swipe down from the top left corner right up here, you will basically come into your notification drawer. 
So this is going to show all the notifications that you currently have inside of your you know, Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 FE. So you can go through, you can swipe out of no notifications if you want to delete them. You can handle your notification settings right here. So it does look pretty nice. It's just pretty basic. There's not really too much else to kind of keep in mind there. And that's what happens when you swipe down from the top left. When you swipe down from the top right, this is a little bit of a different story. You now come inside of your quick toggles or your quick settings. So this page allows you to kind of quickly go through and kind of modify and change out a lot of your quick toggles. So you can turn on or off your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, you can turn off your location services, you can go through and modify your sound. So if you want your sound to be bigger or not as big, you can go and basically change that out from there. You can also change your brightness and adjust your brightness from that side as well by making it you know, more brightness or less brightness depending on what you want to do. And then you also have some of these little toggles at the bottom that allow you to kind of modify and change out those toggles right at the bottom there as well. So like I said, you have a lot of capability here to kind of modify however way you want your tablet to kind of look like. Now, if you want to see all the applications that you currently have inside of your Samsung Galaxy Tab, you can always swipe up from the bottom and you will see all the applications that you currently have inside of your Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 FE. So you also have this search bar down here, which will allow you to search through all your, like, all your applications. But a majority of the applications that you will probably end up using are already on your home screen. So if you want to download any applications, if you're ready to kind of just jump in and start downloading apps, you can download them via the Google Play Store. So if you tap on the Google Play Store icon right there, it will allow you to go through and basically just jump right in. And this is really one of the best types of applications. It probably is going to be the most used application you're going to be using. So you can come right inside of this particular application right here, and you can start to see all the different applications that are available. You can tap on an application like this, and you can go ahead and install it. So you can go through, start installing all these applications that you want. If you are aware of any of them, you can click on download, and you can start using them and they'll now be installed on your particular device. Now, if you're wanting to go ahead and basically kind of use the Google Messages or anything like that, you'll also have the Messages application right here, which will allow you to you know, see your messages. And you also have like Google Chrome, for example, if you need an internet browser. So you have a lot of capability already built right in, which is really nice. So you have that type of capability already, which again is a really nice type of feature. Now, one thing I want to show you to kind of end it off is your settings application. So if we go ahead and hop inside of our settings app, this is going to be one of the more important applications out there. So this app allows you to quickly change all the settings or most of the settings inside of your Android tablet. So you have things for connections, for sound and notifications, display and battery, home screen, accounts, you know, applications, and so many things. One of the bigger areas I'd probably recommend kind of changing and kind of adjusting is this software update one. If you tap on software update, as soon as you buy your Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 FE, this is one of the most important things I'd recommend doing, is to go through and click on download and install, which is right up here, and downloading and installing the latest update available for your particular device. This is by far going to be probably the most important thing I'd recommend every single person to do, is to just go through and to download and install the latest update that's available for your tablet. Because by the time you buy it, there might already be some updates available for it. And your tablet may have not had the opportunity to update as soon as you bought it. So you might as well go through, try updating it as soon as you get your hands on it now. And that is another one of those really important things I'd recommend doing in this particular situation. So that is pretty much how you use your Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 FE. It's actually a very decent tablet. It has a lot of capability inside of it. And like I said, I'd recommend putting a case on it, putting a screen protector on it. But even if you don't, I'm sure these things are still fairly durable and you're still gonna be able to have a really good time with this type of tablet. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well then.